was a little true. I'd like to know your point of view. Let me ask what's come off here. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Welcome to my Ransom Notes, No Radio, and Evening TV. I want to talk to you today about the important role of grandparents. Grandparents are just so super important. They were such a big part of my life and really truly the saving grace in my life. And when it goes so the weight that they have is enormous and that can be both bad and good because for my children, the influence of grandparents was enormously negative because my children really needed the support of their extended family. They really, really did. And what happened, of course, as you know, was that in, in my, for my children, they had the breakdown of their parents' marriage and the person who was completely focused on their well-being, which was me and their, you know, unconditionally loving mother was just ganged up on and sabotaged by all the grandparents rather than supported and, you know, help to continue to, to be well and strong and, and healthy and secure to, to finish raising the kids. And so the breakdown of the, the logic of this family was somehow that they were expecting that they could just sabotage me and that the children were somehow going to still be okay. You know, that they were going to watch for their entire lives lovelessness and chaos and conflict and attacking of their mother, the person that they loved and not only that, but desperately, desperately needed. None of them wanted to take, nobody else wanted to be the unconditionally loving parent to my children. None of them wanted that role, yet they wanted to sabotage me doing the role. There was this huge open door for grandparents to be really important, this really important important, stable, secure, loving, nurturing influence in my children's lives. I was very generous with the idea that we could do this as a community. I didn't have a lot of ego. My ego was not all, you know, built up into, I'm their mother, I have to do it. It wasn't that at all. I was very into, let's do this together because I didn't have any assumptions that I knew how to do it all right. And I figured that between us, we should probably get it all right. This is what my thinking was when I was at first having babies. I thought, because I didn't realize what was wrong with all of them. I did not realize that they lacked love and they lacked empathy and they lacked, com lacked compassion and they lacked responsibility. And that they were, and I did not realize all of that. I realized that they, I just thought that they were flawed human beings just as I'm a flawed human being, but that they loved me and that they loved my kids and that ultimately our end goal was the same and that Together we could we could probably pull it off and probably raise the kids without too much major problems happening. But I was really wrong about that because our values were not the same. And you know, when you don't have adults that are willing and able to put the children's needs first, you've got a problem. And of course, it's clear that none of them were able to do that, or they would have done things completely differently. After everyone attacked me and created chaos and conflict, except for all of my children's lives, and then my son ultimately ends up dying, there's no one taking responsibility for that. There's no one taking any responsibility for that. They'll blame it on him, they'll blame it on me, but they certainly are not going to, they're not going to take any responsibility for being a, a major cause of that. I absolutely believe that they were. And so I just, you know, I want to say that barring, even even barring big problems like what, what our family ran into, even in the in the best of circumstances, Grandparents, they have such an important role to play. When I was a little girl and my, my mother was a working mom and she didn't have the time or the enjoyment to, to really do a lot of things that my grandmother did. You know, my, my grandmothers, especially her mother, would take the time to have tea parties with me and, you know, make me a bubble bath and polish my fingernails and, you know, just do fun things like that. And, my mother said, well, yeah, that's all great and fine because she has time and she's retired and I have to work and I have all the responsibility. And, you know, we really, I'll be like that too when I'm a grandmother. That's what grandmothers are for. And I was like, okay, I accepted that. I'm like, okay, I get that. But it wasn't what my mother was like. My mother was not like that as a grandmother either. She 
it just, you know, it wasn't true. It wasn't true for her. And what I realized too is that, you know, I was more like that as a mother too. So one of my subscribers had said something about what is true at 30 is just ma is just magnified at 70. I believe that that is really true. That was really spot on when she said that. What you are like at 30, you are just like way more magnified at 70. I believe that that's true. My mother was not, you know, she didn't enjoy kids. She wasn't especially nurturing and playful and all of that and, and not wanting to put children's, children's needs first. That was at 30. At 70, she's, you know, stealing from me and, you know, sabotaging the whole entire family. So, you know, it, it did ratchet up and get worse. I never would have imagined that. Never in a million years. But so, grandparents especially when something happens you know because parents are they are even even in good circumstances they're working they're building careers they're trying to build a life they have their heads in a lot of things that they're busy turning to trust kind of creative life and grandparents maybe are retired maybe they have a more of a relaxed schedule and you know they have maybe some financial security and they're more patient and all that and the kids, you know, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter where the kids get what they get, where they get their needs met, as long as they get them met, you know? It doesn't matter. Sure, it would have been great if I had a loving, nurturing mother. That would have been fantastic. But the fact that I had a grandmother, a couple of grandmothers, that paid me attention, made me feel special, celebrated my being a little girl in their life that they were that they felt lucky to have, you know, that... That really let my mom cut my mom a lot of slack. My mom did, you know, my mom was basically off the hook. She didn't have to do it then because someone was doing it. You know, someone was doing it. Someone was giving me that love that I that I needed. That little bit of attention. That little bit of specialness, and that that made me enjoy being a little girl. That made me feel I mattered. That made me feel worthwhile. Made me feel special. I didn't get enough of it, you know, I didn't get enough of it to have, you know, high enough stand, self-esteem and to, to know that I shouldn't be abused, you know, I didn't, so I didn't get, I didn't get enough, but I got enough that I didn't end up being a narcissist, you know, I got enough that I didn't end up having myself be closed off to love and be closed up to empathy and compassion and my femininity and all that and so I feel very very grateful for that and you know just grandparents are just so so important and and you know this kind of ties into another video that I did about a community but you know we're really ageist in in the American culture we're very very ageist and I think that if we if we started valuing our elderly and started seeing the the important role that they have. I mean, we're we're busy. We're busy, busy people. And so, you know, we we would really benefit from giving our giving elderly people, our grand, you know, the grandparent grandparents, a really important role in our families because we need them. You know, we need them. And more and more, what I'm seeing, what I'm seeing now is that it's not even so much that the kids are not valuing the grandparents as the grandparents are off wanting to kind of do their own thing. So, you know, society is changing in that way. But, you know, it doesn't even have to be blood relatives. If you've got narcissistic grandparents that just want to go off and do their own thing and don't want to do that, then that's fine. There are plenty of nurturers that do. You know, there's plenty of people that would love to be part of your family, part of your kids' lives. My grandparents were so nurturing to us, but they were nurturing to their entire neighborhood. They were the grandparents of all the neighbor kids in their neighborhood. It was not common for people to grow up with their grandparents. I had grandparents on both sides, plus great-grandparents on my dad's side in one neighborhood. That's very uncommon. And it really had a, a big effect on on the person that I became, you know, the person that I became. And I had, an, I had, another, I did have one other friend that had even, a, even more, even a closer relationship with her grandparents. And, and, and by closer, I mean it was they, they actually came and were in the house, and the parents were gone a lot of the time, and they had a big family. But in their family, the grandparents were like kind of the disciplinarians and stuff. So it was real different. My grandparents were just always so fun, and and they just got to enjoy us for the most part. 
And my mom's parents really, really just enjoyed children, just really enjoyed children. And they were, they were just, and they had a lot of skills and things to teach too. You know, my, they knew how to do a lot of things that they taught us. My dad's parents were a little different, but where, where this, there was something good there for me in that my grandmother had a lot of formal training and she didn't have, she really wanted to pass it down to a, a granddaughter. She, she didn't have a daughter. So she had this, just, this, just me as her only, only granddaughter. And so she taught me a lot of, um, a lot of old fashioned things. That I'm really grateful to know, you know, just things about jewelry, things about setting a table, things about, you know, just different things like that, that I, I you know, I'm, I'm I call them the feminine arts, in fact. And she was one of my primary teachers of some of that stuff. You know, those were special, those are special times that I had with her. She was, you know, not a lighthearted person, not a, not a funny, fun loving person like my mother's mother, but she had, she had a sweetness and she had skills and things that to pass down to me. And so I, I got, which I didn't get from my mother. You know, my mother, my mother did not enjoy either hanging out and being like, you know, being fun and friendly with me, and nor did she like being a teacher with me. She didn't like being a teacher well with me either. You know, really, my mother's my mother's position was purely, I just want to get you raised. I just want to get you to be an adult. It was really the, the sense that I got from my mother was that really that she had children for the wrong reasons, that they, they had children because they're supposed to, you know, people would think that we looked weird if we didn't, so we had children, and so I just want to get you raised and out of here. And I always thought that time would come when, you know, they might regret rushing us through, but I don't think that's true. I don't think, I, they, I think it was really, a really, they weren't just missing the boat for them. They really just should not have ever done it. Grandparents were the saving grace. Grandparents really were. If it was not for my grandparents and the the little bits of stuff that I got, like from the neighbor lady across the street, it would have been I would have turned out to be a completely different person. We need to really value grandparents, and if you are if you are a grandparent, to really take that role seriously because it it really matters. It really really matters. And you know I'm here I'm here as someone saying you know that grandparents made the difference. They are the reason that I had the ability to really believe that I matter. They clearly taught me the values that I have because my parents don't share the values that I have, I now realize. My values about love and about compassion and about doing the right thing and about loyalty and all of that came from my grandparents. And so, and you know, my sense of family and my sense of responsibility and my sense of love all of that came from my grandparents. And so don't underestimate the importance of that role. It is super, super important. And if you don't have grandchildren or or you live really far away from your grandchildren or something like that, find some other children who you can be an influence in their lives. And the whole idea about community is just, it's such a shame what happened in my family and the fact that we had this, you know, we had this community. And I don't know why, the other members, the other people in it didn't value it the same way that I did. I don't know why that would, why that would ever be, but I encourage you to go out and as much as possible find a community that you can create that it doesn't have to be to do with blood. And I'm going to try and do something with young people that, you know, basically is what I would be doing with my son to I want to do something with nurturing human the arts, nurturing, you know, creative kids. I don't know what yet. I'll keep you posted. But, you know, I'm not just going to not do that now because my son is no longer with me. I'm going to just do what I would have done for him or what I was doing for him and my other son and spread it around. Do it in his honor. And so that's my plan. A little bit here about communities and a little bit here about grandparents in my last two videos. And I just, the breakdown of what happened for me was just enormous and grandparents saved my life and the and, a, and having a community would have made would have saved my son's life and would have made all the difference in our lives and so i don't want anyone to underestimate the importance of that all right you guys thanks a lot for listening and i will talk with you really soon if you haven't already please subscribe thank you Bye bye